Hello, beautiful. Welcome to your reading. How does he view you right now? I will share with you all the energy that does come through and not leave anything out. Take one moment to click that like and subscribe to the channel. If you would like a personal reading, I offer my personal readings to you now for 50% off and the link is in the description. Let's get straight into your reading. Meditate here on the three cards. Pick the one that calmly draws you the most. This would be one, two, and three. Let's get straight into your reading. Hi, number one. Welcome to your reading. How does he view you right now? I will share with you all the energy that does come through and not leave anything out. Take one moment to click that like and subscribe to the channel. If you would like a personal reading, I offer my personal readings to you now for 50% off and the link is in the description. Let's get straight into your reading. I see here your energy. You're naturally drawn to your card holding the citrine crystal. Now, this is a perfect choice for you, number one, because the citrine, it has the energetic resonance of abundance and prosperity, as well as success. Citrine has been called the merchant's stone due to its believed, its believed ability to bring fortune to business and trade. This connection to wealth and success has been treasured throughout history, making citrine a powerful symbol of abundance and positivity. This is a perfect choice for you. And let's see what card you do have. You have Whispers of Soul. With Whispers of Soul energy coming through, what I am picking up as far as how he views you, he sees you as someone that's like very like emotional, deep, a sensitive energy, waters energy, Scorpio, Cancer, and Pisces. Seen in the top placements of his birth chart or yours as a confirmation in the reading. So he uh, views you as being sensitive, you know, imaginative. You have a great imagination. You have a way of like viewing things in a way that no one else does. He feels like there's something mysterious about you. Like you don't like to you know, share all of your personal business. So sometimes he feels like you're hiding a secret from him as well. And it's just because you really like to keep things to yourself. And that's perfectly fine. And let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. And how does he view you right now? How does he view you right now? How does he view you right now? And you have here priority of purpose. So a priority of purpose coming through, this is about like, you are loving yourself, putting yourself first. I feel like he's definitely in his feelings because you're not, you know, catering to his needs, catering to his calls or texts or just responding in a way that he wants you to respond right now. So with you putting yourself first, that's making you priority. It shows that you have raised your standards and that you recognize that greater version of who you are. So he's seeing now that you are exuding self-confidence, self-love, self-assurance, and self-respect. And let's get more insight. It's simply really, how do I feel? I want you, us, forever. So this is something that is on his mind. He wants this connection to last forever. I do feel like he is concerned about the future, like how the relationship will go, what will take place, what type of things will happen. You know what I'm saying? So that's something that's on his mind, whether or not this is a relationship that will stand the test of time. He thinks about that a lot. Let's get more. How does, how does he view you now? How does he view you now? You have here, my every thought is attracting its vibrational essence. Whoa. So this is a clear guided um, message coming through meant for you, number one. So whether you are thinking about wanted things or unwanted things, you are still sending out a request here to the universe to attract more things like the subject of your thought. And all things that happen to you, all people, things, experiences that come to you, come in response to your vibrational invitation. So noticing how things are turning out for you is, you know, is one very clear way of understanding like which vibrational requests you are emanating. Because you are always getting 
the essence of what you are thinking about, whether you want it or not. There's a guided message coming through quite clear. So if you're wondering, number one, like why certain things are taking place in your reality, it's because you are thinking about them. And when you think about them, you feel a certain way about that thing you're thinking about and your emotions are magnetic, right? With the law of attraction. So be very conscious of your thoughts and really practice on guiding your thoughts in a way of thinking about things that you want versus unwanted. You have here the Knight of Pentacles with the Knight of Pentacles energy. This is Earth energy, Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo, top placements of your chart or his chart, the Knight of Pentacles energy is physical energy. He definitely views you as a physical, attractive, uh, divine, feminine energy. He loves the way you look, represented here with the Pentacles energy. He also um, sees you as, you know, someone that is very reliable. He can depend on you. You're patient. You have that patient character. Um, and hard working. You can work hard for what you want. Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo is just here. Baby, you are grounded. He knows you're solid. You are loyal. You are not the cheater type. You're not going to be cheating and playing games and having him question whether or not you are for him. He knows this. So let's get more insight. And how does he view you right now? How does he view you right now? You have here the Eight of Pentacles. Look at the two Pentacles energy coming through. So there's a strong physical attraction that he does see for you. He sees you um, very attractive, very beautiful physically with the Eight of Pentacles coming out, highlighting so much of that um, physical energy, earth energy, right? And also here with the Eight of Pentacles, this is a clear message that um, he sees you as someone that does have the ability of mastering your craft and enjoying your employment right now at this time. You enjoy the work that you do. You are satisfied with what you are doing and you are good at it. So let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. And you have here the bison abundance. I love the bison and abundance coming through because this is a clear message, especially with the citrine crystal that you were naturally guided to, attracted to, that does represent prosperity and abundance. So number one, I can definitely feel that there's a vibrational frequency around you where you are attracting so much more as it does relate to your finances as it relates to quality uh, friendships and relationships as well. So the bison and abundance, this is the sacred buffalo. <clears throat> and, excuse me. <clears throat> oh, wow. Let me just take a sip of tea. Give me one moment. Thank you, number one. Excuse me. So with the bison, buffalo, and abundance here, this is a sacred buffalo where this is the energy of that says, cloak me with your wisdom. Keep me warm through the storms of life. You, I feel like he sees you as someone that is able to fill his life with goodness, right? And, you know, you are a very grateful person. You acknowledge the things that you already have and are thankful. So he feels like you're someone that can teach him the way of gratitude and prayer. So he does recognize your spiritual wealth, you know, that energetic resonance of being aligned with the source. And so beautiful, number one, this does conclude your reading. And I hope this reading does resonate with you and inspire you. If it does, leave a comment below. I love reading your comments. I am sending you lots of love and good energy. Hi, number two, welcome to your reading. How does he view you right now? I will share with you all the energy that does come through and not leave anything out. Take one moment to click that like and subscribe to the channel. If you would like a personal reading, I offer my personal readings to you now for 50% off and the link is in the description. Let's get straight into your reading.
I can see here you're drawn to the white howlite crystal. This is a perfect choice for you, number two, because the white howlite, right, it is a borate mineral known for its chalky white appearance, right, with dark veins, symbolizing patience and perspective. It has the healing properties of of like a calming stone. It soothes the body, mind, and spirit, promoting wisdom, raising awareness, and granting clear vision. So this is a perfect choice for you. And the card you are naturally drawn to is care for yourself. So with the energy of this card coming through of caring for yourself, so it's a clear message that you're in a space of putting yourself first, protecting your energy, right? Um, and protecting your mind, your body, and your spirit. I feel like he views you as someone that is truly like um, in this hermit zone, meaning like you have kind of like placed your attention and your focus fully on yourself and less attention and focus on him, which that leaves him feeling some kind of way. That leaves him feeling like he's in his feelings and that certain things that um, he is, you know, just feeling kind of like lost, right? Feeling uh, abandoned in some sort of way. So let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. What is the energy as it does relate? And you have here good witch. With the good witch, yes, definitely the good witch. I can definitely see that he sees you as someone that is kind, warm-hearted. You have very mysterious and beautiful eyes, right? He feels like um, you want the best for your life. You want the best for your journey, your path. You're going to make sure that you have the best. You wish him well no matter what. No matter the discord in the relationship, you wish him well. He sees the goodness in your heart. He recognizes that you are one that will, you know, be there. You're solid. You're not going to cheat. You don't have time to lie or play games. And that's something that he recognizes and respects about you. Let's get more insight. Thank you, spirit. What is the energy as it does relate? And how does he view you right now? How does he view you right now? Number two. And you have here, yep, the five of wands. So with the five of wands energy, this is fire energy and creativity energy. Sagittarius, Leo, and Aries, top placements of your chart or his as a confirmation. The five of wands is a clear message here that there's definitely, you know, challenges in this relationship connection. Maybe some sort of rival. He feels like it's an obstacle to communicate to you. He feels like it's very hard to like get through to you, to convince you to see him in a way that he wants you to see him. Right, I feel like sports are significant in this relationship connection. Something to do with watching sports or playing sports are coming through quite clear. And let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. What is the energy as it does relate? And how does he view you right now? How does he view you right now? Inspired action is always a pleasurable action. And this is a clear guided message coming through specifically for you, number two. So the dominance of your thoughts is what brings everything to you. And it is what is behind the action that you offer. So by seeking good feeling thoughts and aligning you with the source, your action will then always feel good. You cannot muster enough action to compensate for misaligned thoughts. But action that is inspired from a line thought is always pleasurable action. And I am intrigued how inspired action is laying naturally here under the five of wands. So then five of wands is about creativity and action as well. So let me just say number two, that your reading is extremely accurate. And I'm grateful when the message does align in this way. So thank you, Spirit. So this is a clear message for you to take action from an inspired place, right? not to force anything. Let's get more insight because if you do force things, they tend to break. So even forcing this relationship connection is a huge no-no. Let's get more. Thank you, Spirit. And you have here the Black Bear Guardian. So with the Black Bear Guardian, you are gentle. You're a wise protector of your family, of your friends, the people that you care about, 
right? This person feels like you give them confidence and power, right? Because you are able to protect the ones that you love. You have a an awakened intuition that guides you, you see? Because number two, you're guided by the cosmic GPS system. And with the intuition coming through here, the intuition does rule over the moon. The moon represents the mother. So the mother is significant here in this energy reading as it relates to Kim. The way that he behaves, the actions, the things that he says, and the way that he speaks is highly influenced by his relationship with the mother. With the intuition, he knows that you can peep game. He knows that you know whether or not he's lying or telling the truth, being generous, being kind, or just being shaky. He knows that you know. So let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. What is the energy as it does relate? And how does he view you right now? Have my kids. Kids are significant. I love have my kids coming out, especially with the moon and the moon ruling over the mother. Also, the moon rules over the zodiac sign of cancer. So cancer is significant in the top placements of his chart or yours as a confirmation. So here, I want to have a family with you. I know you'd be an amazing parent. And I dream of the day I can experience raising a family together. So family, kids, they are significant here in the reading. Let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. What is the energy as it does relate? And how does he view you right now? How does he view you right now? Page of Cups, significant, new baby or relationship or proposal or a marriage. Very intriguing. The Ace of Cups laying right next to kids, family. Same energy resonance here. With the Ace of Cups, that is high vibrational emotional energy. Scorpio, Cancer, and Pisces in the top placements of your chart or his. Ace of Cups energy. This is a definitely what he views you. He feels like this is where you are or headed to a new baby or a new relationship. He feels like, you know, this is about like a proposal, like you'll have like a proposal or a marriage that is significant here in the reading. And so beautiful number two, this does conclude your reading. I hope this reading does resonate with you and inspire you. And if it does, leave a comment below because I love reading your comments and they definitely warm my heart and they make my day. I am sending you lots of love and good energy. Hi, number three, a welcome to your reading. How does he view you right now? I will share with you all the energy that does come through and not leave anything out. Take one moment to click that like and subscribe to the channel. And if you would like a personal reading, I offer my personal readings to you now for 50% off and the link is in the description. Let's get straight into your reading. I see here your energy. You're naturally drawn to the turquoise crystal. So with the turquoise crystal, this is a perfect choice for you because turquoise has a rich history of being associated with protection, healing, success, and good fortune, right? It is believed to promote positive energy, assist with communication, enhance creativity, and bring balance and spiritual grounding. This is a perfect choice for you. So let's see what card you do have. You have listened to your heart. Well, listen to your heart. When I'm picking up a house, he views you is that he feels like you are, you know, a emotional, you're sensitive. He also feels like you are, you have a great imagination. Like you really come up with really good ideas. And not only that, you're mysterious, meaning that you, you know, you have some secrets, a lot of things you don't want to share with him. And that's, that's perfectly fine because your story is your story and it's totally up to you to share it or be transparent about it or not. So he's always thinking like you're hiding something from him. And with this energy coming through, this is a representation of the water, zodiac signs, Scorpio, Cancer, and Pisces, top placements of your chart or his chart as a confirmation in the reading. Let's get more insight. And how does he view you now? Be your own hero. Mm. 
I love this for you. And you know what's what song is coming through? There is a song that's resonating here with your reading. It is, it is a song by Mariah Carey, Hero, and the the lyrics that are standing out here in your reading is there's a hero, and a hero comes along, right, to. to strengthen, to guide. That's the essence of that song. Like you are your own hero and he views you. So he definitely views you as someone that's having self-strength, self-love, self-confidence. He feels like you have like high standards. You know what I'm saying? And like, you don't need him. And that's what's making him want you even more is because you don't need him. So let's get more insight. Thank you, spirit. You have here, I can get from an unwanted to a wanted relationship. With this energy coming through, this is a clear guided message for you. Number three, this is specific from your spirit guides. So as you walk away from one unpleasant situation, the law of attraction will bring another that feels very much like it. And usually quickly, you just start, cannot, you cannot get there from there. To get where you want to be to a place of feeling better, you have to reach an alignment between you and you. Getting yourself feeling good before you take action is always the best process. For when you do not feel good, you cannot be inspired to any action that will solve your problem. Ooh, that's a guided message coming through quite clear to like when it comes to relationships, like leaving a relationship, a toxic relationship, a relationship that just did not feel good. Yeah, like even if you do walk away from that relationship, gotta walk away from that relationship with your head held high, feeling real good about yourself, resonating on a high vibrational frequency of love, unconditional love, sending that person lots of love, white sparkly light and compassion and really feeling good because see, the universe is a magnet right? It is a boomerang and it gives you whatever you send out. So that's why this guided message came through for you. So if you wonder why you keep meeting the same type of people, it's because you are constantly thinking about that relationship that did not work out. Let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. So you now must place your focus on a relationship that is loyal, that offers love and understanding, and keep your focus there. And that's what you'll attract. So let's get more insight. And you have here Four of Swords. So with the Four of Swords energy, honey, he feels like you are unbothered at this time and place. You are unbothered. The Four of Swords energy does um, represent your intellect, your mind, and communication. It is in resonance of the air zodiac signs, Gemini, Aquarius, and Libra in the top placements of his chart or yours as a confirmation in the reading. And specifically here with the Four of Swords energy, you know, he feels like you look a lot younger. You really do because this is you, right? You know you are in a space of like retreat, rest, renewal, solitude, and recovery. It's like, honey, I am taking care of me. That's the vibe you are on. And because you are on that, baby, he feels like you look a lot younger than your age. So let's get more insight. And what is the energy as it does relate? How does he view you right now? How does he view you right now? And you have here dolphin play. With dolphin and play energy, this is a clear message coming through that, you know, you swim in a happy joy of living, right? And inhale confidence, exhale fear. Spirit is encouraging you here to dive into your wisdom and go with the flow. That water energy coming through, Scorpio, Cancer, and Pisces, we got that earlier, right? And so this is quite interesting that, you know, he views you as being very emotional, I feel like he is emotionally connected and invested to your energy, right? He's in his feelings over you and he cannot deny it. Let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. How does he view you right now? How does he view you right now? 
and you have here the three of swords so with the three of swords coming through this is quite interesting especially with the four of swords three of swords air gemini aquarius and libra so this energy is in resonance with heartbreak right a divorce a loss you know what i'm saying depression right so this is that energy there right and you know it, also this is like feeling regret over his actions something he said or even something that he did that's where he's at right and you are like hey you have to let go of that energy and this is why you are here now you're here at the four of swords so let's get more insight and what is the energy as it does relate? Thank you, Spirit. How does he view you right now? How does he view you right now? You have here something to say. There's something I really want to share with you. And I'm waiting for the right time to tell you. This is a clear message coming through. That he is not the type to wear his heart on his sleeve. He definitely has something to say to you. I find this quite intriguing, especially because you were drawn to the card. Listen to your heart. Both cards referencing communication, something to say. Three of swords, four of swords representing communication, something to say. He is just really holding a lot of things in because he's not able to align with that greater version of who he is. That self-confidence to speak to you, to say to you what he is truly feeling within his heart. And because he's not able to share that being that he's living in a place of ego, which is about fear, worry, doubt, and fear. That is what is causing a lot of the disconnect that he feels, you know, with this relationship connection. So he really would love to speak with you, to share feelings with you, you know, the way that you're able to express, but he's not there yet. And so beautiful number three, this does conclude your reading. I hope this reading does resonate with you and inspire you. If it does, leave a comment below because I love reading your comments and they definitely warm my heart and they make my day i am sending you lots of love and good energy